sure hope you're hungry because we are about to beef right, up right. tonight's dinner. And here's the best part. You only need one pot. But right. what really makes this recipe special is... Ryan Scott's uh -huh. cooking it and the wine that goes in it. <laughs> yeah, Ryan is the chef and owner of Ryan Scott to go catering in San Francisco. Hi. Did you get a fresh haircut for us? I did. I just fresh I, haircut, I fresh new sweater, I, I everything. Good. You look all bright and shiny. I know. Back to yeah. school. Yeah, yeah, you can even wear white after Labor Day. <laughs> yes, you know what babe. I'm saying? Yes, you can you do can. the whole thing. Jill right. told me downstairs it was good, so <laughs> I trust it. Let's so, jump into my yes. pot roast because we know the seasons are changing, just not in New York. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. So what we have here on the grid, this is a chuck roast, onions, pearl onions, mushrooms, potatoes tomato paste, bay leaf, all the cornucopia of great things that make a stew. Yeah. But this is bulletproof in the way that you can put it all in one pot, pop it in the oven, okay. and you're done. Perfect. So right. here's okay. the chuck roast, which is an inexpensive cut that you get at the store. So all you do is cut the larger the dice, the longer you cook it. The smaller you cut it, the less you cook oh, okay. it. Does that make sense? So you all take right. these big dice that we have here, you cut them up, you put them right inside here, Meredith, grab that handy dandy spoon. We season with flour and salt and flour. pepper What's in here. What's the flour okay. for? The flour is to give that great crust which you'll see in the pot over okay. here. Now, Hoda, I've showed you this yes. in the past. Yes, Anytime what? you're adding anything to a hot pot. I didn't pot, really finish, yes. but... Mer no, Mer uh, <laughs> Meredith Vieira says she's not done. You stop everything? <laughs> Let me know when you're good, Meredith. Either give me okay. two minutes. <laughs> If I don't get the asparagus done, I'm just saying. No, there we no. go. So <laughs> any time you. you add, you add away from you. That away. way, none of the splashing oh, very burns good. you. Because yeah. a lot Weird. of young cooks think it's so cool to have burns on your arm. Guess what? It's not cool. And this, was this a Dutch oven? This is a okay. Dutch oven, a crock pot style. -ish. You can yeah. do this in the plug-in on your counter, too, oh, okay. if you wanted to. Wait, just so brown everything. Oh, so you brown it on the stove, and then you put it in the oven? Yes, exactly. Oh. So once this, oh, there it is. this is going to take two hours by the time. No, I'm just doing this while you do your No, I got you. So here we go. I want wow. you to add all this. Oh, okay. Go in there. Go garlic. Help go, help Hoda. Help garlic. Say it in the Hoda. Garlic, garlic mushrooms, mushrooms, onions. onions. Yay. Yay. Celery. <laughs> You're going to be super excited about that. So here's what we have. You add all the mushrooms and all that yes. stuff raw. You add tomato paste in here. And this is not a flour. This I know is how you do. Oh, Hoda, what is say that? Wait, I forgot. What's it called? Hold on. Bouquet garnish. Bouquet say it. Hoda. garnish. Yeah, garnish. Yeah. Garnish. But Just, you have a string on that. Yeah, you tie it because these are not edible. What you're getting is extra extracting all the flavor from the bay leaf, oh, the parsley it, stems. Oh, okay. So long story short, this all gets married with Hoda and Meredith and I's favorite thing in the world, what? red wine, wine. Yes, white yes. wine and beef stock. Oh. You cook this for two and a half hours in the oven. Come the here, Mer last hour, you throw in the here, potatoes. Whole the, potatoes? Oh, whole, yeah, the whole potatoes. Here, Mer wow, Meredith, thank you. Thank take you. a bite of this. Okay, okay. And if you don't like it, looks it yummy. Uh, has made it. If you don't like it, Hoda made it. It looks yummy. This is two and a half hours in the oven. By the way, the meat is like falling off. I'll take kisses if it's good, Meredith. Thank you. Mm. Hold on. Good. It's absolutely fantastic. The next day, it's mm. even better. Put it in the fridge, let it chill down, and it's phenomenal. Okay, so we can you make this in advance and freeze it too, so that you, you have it? Totally can. Just don't I'm put the vegetables one. that need to go in the oven. Do that last minute when you reheat it. Okay. Come so over now here. What? My favorite thing in the whole world uh -huh. is asparagus. The mm. season is still here. Right. So what you do is you pick the asparagus up, and where it breaks is where you cut oh, them oh. all. Then you take that one, you Ooh, cut geez. it. I don't, I'll come to your house and cut it for you. All right, then what you do, and here's my trick that I've shown okay. you before. Step to the side okay. just real fast. This way? I'll go over here. Here's the, the thing. Pan, the hot a hot pan. sheet pan. What? Add hot your pan. veggies on a hot sheet pan. Why? And listen, because have you ever added anything in a pan to where it's cold and you have to reheat it? Like, yes, you never cook chicken in a cold pan. Why would you roast vegetables in a cold pan? You're right, you're right. right? A little bit of olive oil, salt, and you're roasting from both sides. It comes out gorgeous. Okay. And then we're going to make our handy pesto. dandy pesto. Here you mm. go. Go ahead, what? add Dump it, Meredith. What is that? Pistachio. Basil and yes, pistachios. This can be pine nuts. This can be walnuts. Okay. This can be nut free if you want. Now turn then it on. Then a little <laughs> garlic, lemon juice, and then a pinch of salt. And Meredith, here we go. Three, good. please Two. work. Please turn work. It never on. works, never works for me. Never works. Go. No. Uh, still. Set. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I, 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 can't, I can't do this. I got to make sure it goes. Okay. Go. Go, Meredith. No, go. So then it looks like. Oh, no. <laughs> Why does this machine hate me on this show? That's all right. It's good all enough. Right. Then you just try it's this still asparagus. Right. right. It's awesome. It's good. Did you always have a nose ring? Anyway, it's commercial break. Everybody, <laughs> it's thank got you a so nose much. Nose ring. Look. It looks good. Is this it's new? A, this is a. I'm, I'm 39. I'm a dad. I'm breaking down a little bit. Let me get, get this. the recipes at today <laughs> slash food. Today.com yeah. slash food. And you, you think you name your daughter Olive because it's a food? Yes, exactly. I thought all, so. Olive oil is my favorite. This morning, we are cooking up two tasty dishes in pretty little packages. Chef Ryan Scott and I, we have teamed up with NBC Universal's Blueprint. It's an online lifestyle learning community to create one pot cooking video tutorials. And we have our taste testers. 
all of you, so good. already eating. You. So you are digging in, and we are going to cook. I have to be honest, Ryan. Yes. I tried to make this just based off memory after we mm -hmm. cooked it together. How did it turn out? It didn't turn out great, so I missed a couple steps, which is why I requested we cook this. <laughs> These ones? So you can teach me again how right? to do this. This feels like it was so long ago when we did this, even <laughs> in the photos. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> All right, so in Papio, just means to cook in the bag. So we're going to actually use, uh, if you have wax paper or parchment paper at home, or you can even use foil. So let's go ahead and season the salmon. Okay. Salt and pepper on both sides. You can get the salmon with the skin off. Especially since you're going to steam this, you want the skin off on it. Okay. And then we're going to take, don't go too heavy on the salt. Oh, uh, that's the first time you've ever said that to me. I know, because, huh? Oh, come on, do a salt bay. Ready? Come on, do the, do the form. I have a, the sweater's going to get caught in. I'm <laughs> like, like, waving at like people like it's snow. I know, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is take now a little. too much salt, It's anyway. fine. It, nobody's going to eat this Okay, one. what are so we So soy on top. Are you going to take this home to Brian? Right? Yes. All right. So, Brian does not like salmon, so, so you would love soy this. on top of that, and then take Dijon mustard okay. and do the same. So here is microwavable rice. I, I know that some people may think this is weird. Maybe that was but the problem. Jenna, don't give me that look, Jenna. It is the easiest three I, minute. I'm only giving you that look because I love a three minute rice. Right, right. Right. No judgment here. Especially All right. So watch this. We're going to take yeah. a quarter cup measure. So I'll let you take this quarter cup measure home. So that way, Thank maybe you. that's what it was. Now take the I give salmon. my dog a quarter cup of food, <laughs> right? too. Salmon goes right on top of that. Okay. Are you remembering this? This sounds familiar. Sesame, Sesame seeds, seeds here on top. Okay. We're going to take a little bit of asparagus or seasonal. This could be diced Uncooked. butternut squash. Okay. Uncooked all the way. About three, sam uh, three lemon this slices. This is not gone. salmon. I know. This is These our whole lemons. segment the whole time. You were making oh. fun of me for 18 hours. <laughs> so it goes on top. Do you remember yes. how to wrap this? Yes, I right? do. I right. think I do. La ladies and gentlemen, Al, Craig, okay. drum roll. So we're going to go get this. Wait, this. Can I get the this cameras way. really close to see that Dylan can't get this right? No, okay. I can. Look, look. <laughs> oh, you, oh, my gosh. You're so <gasps> it all just, It all just came back to me. Look at that. Okay. Craig's like, oh, you go, girl. You What's it? What's the Very secret? good. So like the it. secret is, tell everybody, Dylan, oh. what, you, what did I, what did you, I teach you? You press it, you fold it. You press it, you fold it. It's like a You press it, you fold it. You press it, you fold it. And then at the end, you just kind of like And then you do a little twisty twist here at the end. Right, remember? Yes. Yes. I remember. Then, last but not least, you take a little bit of oil so it doesn't burn and put it on top. So you don't have to poke okay. the whole thing. And then, if you did this many segments with us, we were smart enough. This cooks for 18 to 22 minutes at 375 degrees. <laughs> oh, yes. oh. We do. Because it's written Says right the here. the sticker right there. Which, right. Okay, we want to get to this next one. Cooking in a bag. I'm sorry. Cooking in the bag keeps it nice and moist and no caramelization and it's steamed just like this, Craig. Oh. It comes out and it looks really easier. clean. You finish with some sesame seeds. You know how good it, it is to be in the bag. What's that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sesame seeds go on top. We only have like 45 seconds. All right, 45 seconds. It? Here's my favorite one. Okay. Here is in the bag. This is my Hawaiian version, okay? Just like Put this. Yes, I do. Put the chicken on top here. Okay. Here's my homemade teriyaki sauce, which is all these ingredients you can find online, and you can check it out there. Then we're going to take some pineapple. I'm okay. cooking like you, out. Take a little pineapple. Add yes. a little here. Okay. Could you use chicken thighs, thighs on this? You could use chicken thighs very easily. Do a little very bit. Easily. Ooh, I have chicken thighs in my thighs. fridge. Is I that do. okay? Do yeah, that's Who great. Does? You I mean, can put pretty. all these vegetables and all these great things. So what you do is you fold it over this way, and you crimp it all the way around in another version of not using parchment. It's just right. Oil. Then this goes got, in the oven ooh, for 25 to 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Thank you, Dylan. Okay. <laughs> Comes out, open it, broil it real quick. Once it gets broiled, ah. to get a nice color on the outside. Mm. This is my version of teriyaki chicken okay. with a little bit of pineapple. Come on, ooh. Chanel. What do you I think? Like the pineapple. Like this. I, right? You have to see what Craig is doing. He likes it so much, he's been eating it with his fingers. Yeah, really? Really? Craig, let me see. You really no, I did. Fingers? He just decided, just why use a fork it's when your fingers are here? It takes too long. Sometimes I forget I'm on television. I always love your recipe and I love getting to cook with you. Thank you so much for these oh, yeah, recipes. My. Go to today.com slash food and then head to myblueprint.com, no E in there, to purchase <laughs> any of their online classes. And when you're watching your weight, sometimes carbs get a bad rap. I'm not watching my weight, by the way. Not, Are you, you're not watching your weight. No, I'm not watching my okay, But what we're trying to say is that not all carbs are created equal here. Right, that's right. Today so we're cooking with learn. good carbs. Here to show us a couple of easy, low-carb <laughs> dishes, our buddy Ryan Scott, the chef owner of Ryan Scott to go catering in San Francisco. What's up, man? What's up, guys? How are you, Willie? All right. I haven't seen this guy in a while. I know. Right? Isn't it fun? Yeah, it it's is. Right. Fun. So people think, they hear low carb and they go, hey, that's no fun. But you're no. going to make it fun. We're going to make it fun. And there's a couple things you can cut out. For instance, we're going to do my version of a taco, but it's not yeah. really, we're going to use lettuce cups instead. Uh, okay. Look, yes. we're all moms and dads at this counter here. So yeah. many right. things that are simple and easy. So I start with the rotisserie chicken, yep. mm -hmm. some avocado, lime, tomato, and then what we're going to do is take those spices in your cabinet, which 
I'm pretty sure. Do you even know if you have a spice cabinet? Oh, we really? do. Oh, yeah, of course we do. Do you really cook? Oh, yeah. Do you really oh, cook? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, guys, yes. what's the last thing that you cooked at home? Cooked, legitimately cooked. A huge grill party last weekend. I Steak, make tacos. chicken, grilled vegetables. Okay. Yeah. All I right. make tacos, yeah. but I make them in the tortilla. All right, so, so when you do this, Jenna, be careful. You want to put it away from you. So I have hot oil in a pan. What we're going to do is we're going to saute off our onions and garlic. So okay, put it in put there, the but first? put it away from you, okay? What does away from that, me mean? Uh, away from oh, you. Okay. <laughs> this too? Yeah, put the onions in away, or towards you, Willie. It's good. Wait, was that towards you? Yeah, kind of sideways. All right, add a little bit of jalapenos in here. So I'm going to put jalapenos in, Ooh, and yeah. I de-seed them because I like the spice. But I don't want it to yeah. be too hot to wear the whole family. Right. I have an 18 month old daughter. Yeah. yeah, she eats guacamole oh. and she's got like jalapeno in her teeth. I'm like, I should have oh. deceived wow, those. So she likes the spice. Everything. This already smells good, by the right? way. Right? Yeah. So, what we did with these spices, this is just cumin and chili powder. And this jalapeno oh. did not want to be in there. Yeah. So, what you're going to do is low and slow until it's translucent. About four or five minutes. When I mean translucent, is you don't want to caramelize the onions because yep. I want it to be part of the body of the dish. Got it. All right. Okay. Rotisserie chicken. Yes. We throw How it many in? people thrown in away from you? Away from <laughs> just, I don't, I still well, what happened? I Look, I have burns. I cook for a living. So if you add things in away from you with hot oil, did you do that? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, it's Anyways, fine. that We're was a lesson I was trying to yeah. teach you guys, but yeah. I, I lost it. All right, so we mix this together. Goes right in. Okay. Toss it together until it warms up all the way through. Mm -hmm. okay. A rotisserie chicken to me, I'll go to the big store yep. and I buy all this fancy food and I'll eat the chicken yeah. at dinner time and right. take exactly. the potato off. That's right. Because we're tired and we got to do things. So right. let's make a lettuce cup here. Okay. Here's bib lettuce. You can use romaine lettuce. Whatever it is that you have at home that's easy, that's a vessel, that's not a tortilla. Yeah. yeah. Now, gluten free car carbs is a um, corn tortilla. You can actually have one of those. I love corn tortillas. Right, and they're super delicious. What we're going to do is take this chicken mixture that you made from mm -hmm. scratch, put some tomatoes on top, a little bit of fresh avocado. Oh, yeah. Now, are you against cheese, too? I love cheese. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everything I hate today. No, no, I love cheese. It's great. So, all right, Big Willie style. Take a bite of okay. that guy. That so, good. Here, look, why don't you take a bite of it? The very pretty one that's already dressed. Yeah up for you. So what I like about this, this is something that can sit on the counter, sure. and, you know, with mm. some friends that come over. Mm -hmm. A rotisserie chicken is already done. You're sauteing onions, which are really easy. Wait, but legitimately, delicious. you're making it. So toasting mm. the spices is the key. It's really, it's really good. The spices do make a big difference. They do. Right. Come back here, guys. All right. How many people go Very to nice. a restaurant that your friend that you're with calls gnocchi, gnocchi or quinoa canola? Oh, I've never heard quinoa. <laughs> no. I've heard quinoa. All right, so quinoa is actually a hard thing for a lot of people to cook. This is an ancient grain that has lots of carbs for you. Okay. It has lots of great protein for you. So this is a very healthy carb. So what you're That's saying is not carb. all carbs are created. Like, this not is all. a good carb. This is a good carb, and it's very good for vegetarians. Put a little bit of oil in here on top. Mm. Put a little bit of salt on top for me. I have corn, asparagus, lemon, shallot, Dijon. We're going to make a homemade vinaigrette. This water mm -hmm. is microwaved. I heated it up. Mm. That right. way the water's already hot. That's and check all this. you have to do? No, it doesn't just turn into quinoa. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Jenna's like, I'm making this every night. Ryan told me, all I need to take foil. Put foil over the top. Pop it in a 325 degree oven about 25 minutes. Yes. You bring it out. We're going to make a quick little vinaigrette here. I have mustard. Put oil in there, uh -huh. Willie. Yes. Put vinegar in there. Put oil and shallots. Put the lid on top of here, Willie. Okay. <laughs> and okay? choke on my chicken salt? sandwich. No, yeah. delicious. A little bit of salt in here too, yep, buddy. Get it in okay. There. Now, mix the whole thing together real quick, guys. I want to show you when you dress dress on the wall and when you do it dress on the wall I lost Jenna on this segment so bad. <laughs> this doesn't work. I don't think it's Jenna fun. doesn't okay. need to eat this, and well, I love I you all. I do. I'm eating this. It's so good. That's grilled corn, by the way, not the, just any corn. And you can get it in the freezer section at a store, which what? is already grilled corn. I know. There we go. There's Ryan. my takeaway. You can buy frozen corn already grilled. You're welcome, everybody. Ryan, thank you so much. <laughs> you make carbs fun. You, yeah, did you it really do. And by the way, remember when we all thought bagels were were good for us? Yes. Do you? The the, 90s? The, no? Oh, back in the day? Yeah. yeah I still eat them. Yeah, me too. I love bagel. But for these recipes, go to date.com slash food. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.